Hey everyone, my name is Brian Skeel. I'm a composer and sound designer. And what you just heard was the Bass Forge Hellraiser from Joey Surge's Tones, and I'm in love with this thing. I'm primarily a guitar player, so I have lots of great amp sims for guitar, including a lot of the uh, Joey Surge's Tones Tone Forge stuff, but up until this point, I never really had a great solution for aggressive bass sounds. Hellraiser changed all that. I plugged it in and was just blown away by how quickly I could get a great tone. So what I'd like to do for you is show you exactly how I created this tone. So let's jump into Cubase and dig right in. So for this song, I used my Fender Getty Lee Jazz Bass, ran it through my Sansamp RBI as a preamp, and it was mostly dry, but I added a little bit of active EQ and some drive just for a little bit of color, and then it ran directly into Bass Forge here. And this thing is absolutely awesome. I decided right away that I was just going to leave the Demon Fuzz stomp box off. I feel like that would have been kind of overkill here. But here in the amp section, this is where the bulk of the tone actually comes from. So I've got the gain driven about halfway, a little bit less of the bass, um, scooped mids, uh, a little bit of treble, and then this clank knob is really cool. This will give some really interesting biting upper harmonics to the bass sound. And this is really great if you like a lot of clarity. Something to be aware of though, if you end up using quite a bit of the clank is it tends to get out of control pretty quickly. So I use a FabFilter Pro Q3 later on to help me kind of get rid of some of those upper harmonics. But I also have Raise Hell enabled, and what this does is it changes the preamp style completely to make it a little bit more aggressive. It's got a much meatier mid-range, and uh, I think a little bit more drive. Whatever it did when I flipped that switch, it just sounded great. And then Enhanced Sub, that's just something that brings out more of the lows. Uh, just sounded really great. And here on the cab section, I just decided to use the uh, the JST Match Cab because it sounded the best. I went through some of these other options, the Ampeg and the JST. Um, you can also use different mic configurations, really cool stuff, but I decided to use the Match Cab just because it sounded great. Um, and if you are an IR fanatic, you do have the option of bringing in your impulse responses from your own bass amp recordings. Uh, from there, it goes into an EQ, and I did a little bit of damage on here, uh, actually quite a bit. Um, I'm really boosting uh, the upper mids, um, kind of borderline on the, uh, the the top end, just about 6K. I'm cranking. Um, I've got quite a bit going on um, at a shelf of 5K and up, just to give it a little bit more bite, scooping a little bit of the mids and then kind of leaving the lows alone. But this section, the compressor section, is I think what makes the Bass Forge Hellraiser the coolest amp sim around. Very often when I am mixing bass, I have a huge problem getting a consistent low end, especially if I run it through a broadband compressor, that low end is kind of going to be all over the place. But what this does is it has two different compressors. So it's very much like a multi-band compressor, but uh, you get to focus on the lows and everything else. So you get to kind of determine your crossover. For this song, I decided 155 sounded the best. And then you can compress your lows independently from everything else. So that way you know that your low end is locked in, it sounds great, but you also have the bite up top that you absolutely need. Another really cool feature of the Hellraiser, which I've actually seen in most other Tone Forge uh, products, is the signal path down here. You can click this and you can actually disable anything in this chain. The only thing you can't disable in Hellraiser is the amp, which is totally fine because if I'm gonna reach for this plugin, I am using it for the amp. Now, that being said, this amp is really cool for other things. For example, in this particular project, I used my Mother 32 synthesizer and ran it through a separate instance of Hellraiser. I decided to turn off the cab because I felt like it was getting rid of too much of the high-end information and really utilized the Demon Fuzz. I thought that was a really cool sound for it and that is the one of the arpeggiating sounds you hear in the middle section of this tune. So what I want to do really quick is I'm going to disable Hellraiser and then the um, EQ and compressor that I have after that and let's just listen to a little bit of the bass and then bring back in my chain. Here we go.
sounds decent right now, but I felt like this tune really needed to have an aggressive bass sound. So using this Bass Forge Hellraiser uh, absolutely made this sound monstrous. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this clank knob that happens or uh, that is on the amp section can add some really harsh upper harmonics. That is essentially what this Fab Filter Pro Q3 is for. I'm doing a couple of other moves here, but a lot of that was just mix specific stuff. But all this craziness up here is from the upper harmonics. So what I want to do is I'm going to uh, let's just leave these bumps in and I'm going to disable these nodes and then I'll bring this back in to show you uh, how to control some of this clank. And, and for your own project, I would listen for the harmonics that stick out the most, that are consistent no matter what note you're playing, and then try your best to eliminate those. Let's listen to it without these notes. Now with. I just felt like that was getting rid of some of the more annoying frequencies. Uh, then I used this uh, CLA-76 just to glue everything together a little bit more. Just to help it really snap in the mix. Uh, let's check out what this thing can do in the mix. I'm going to turn everything off and then bring it back in. And let's go to a section where everything is happening at once. Here we go. And I have to, to note, right here at the end, where I'm hitting a lot of the higher notes, this Bass Forge is absolutely essential. This is where that dual compressor in Bass Forge really, really helps. Let's check that out. Okay, and with all that enabled. Really helps. So that is the Bass Forge Hellraiser from Joey Sturge's Tones. And if you like what you hear, go to joeysturgistones.com and pick up a copy yourself. I'm so excited to have this thing in my arsenal. It's going to be all over my next record. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Go to brianskeel.com if you want to hear more of my original material. And thanks a million to everybody at Joey Sturgis Tones. You guys rock. Thank you for putting out such amazing products. Take care, everybody. We'll see you real soon.